Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a real cute little paper bag mini album to share with you. This project uses the new Julie Nutting Bell V 6x6 paper pad and this is by Photoplay. And I also use the 12x12 sticker sheet. The mini album is small. Um, it measures the covers are three and three quarters by four and three quarters and the spine is two and a half. So on the front cover I did some double matting here. I used some Stampin' Up! Blushing Bride solid cardstock right here and I die cut a doily using one of my favorite doilies from Emma at My Creative Time. I used this fabulous little sticker here of this dress form from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that matches this collection and same with this and I did put it on some black cardstock and then just fussy cut around it and mounted it on some dimensional foam tape inked around the edges here with some black soot distress ink from Tim Holtz and then the my favorite things is another sticker from the sticker sheet and again I just put it on some solid black cardstock and then put it on the front here on the spine I went ahead and added the uh, blushing bride cardstock and then I layered this really cute adhesive back rosette mini rosette ribbon from May Arts and then on the back here again I did some double matting with the solid blushing bride cardstock and then the design paper from the 6x6 paper pad so I used for this project the small paper bags and these are the ones that I get at Michaels they're the three and a half inch by two inch by six and three quarter inch and you get 16 of them in a package I used the black so you open it up and on the inside um, I fussy cut this out. As you can see off of my 6x6 paper pad, I wanted the title right here, Bell V, so I went ahead and fussy cut that out. And add that here with some dimensional foam tape. And each of these, this is a kind of a take on my vertical paper bag mini album, um, but I shrunk it down. And so I trimmed the paper bags down so they're four and a half inches tall. So each of them will have a flap here, and I used a decorative corner punch here and here and they all will have a belly band and then I used another tag die from M at My Creative Time and made some little tags here some stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I put those on a scallop circle punch here and then you flip it open and again I used another framelit die here and cut some photo mats out here and here and again so the pages are going to be all double matted with the pink and then the design paper here as well and then each of them has a tag at the top and for the tag I used a uh, bow bunny die set of some different tag. it's a tag die set that layers so this is one of the sizes in there and then I have some design paper on both sides And you flip it over and then on the back side each of them will have a pocket here as well and these are really small they're just two and a quarter by two and three quarters and they have solid pink on one side and design paper on the other I love this paper right here with a cute little polka dot dresses on it and so again it follows the same thing and I think there's only five pages one two three four yeah five pages in this book so again, a cute little sticker from the sticker sheet, another cute little tag, and I haven't decided if I want to put, so I haven't found the right ribbon yet to put in my little tags here, but I love this little layering tag die from Emma at My Creative Time. It's so cute. It has the stitching around the outside. Again, another die cut here, and some design paper here, and a tag right here. And you flip it over. Again, here's the pocket on the back side paper is absolutely adorable oh my gosh I bought it in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 I haven't used the 12 by 12 yet but I did use some of the stickers off the sticker sheet again belly band here with a tag cute little rose sticker right there and again some more of the design paper and on the back another little tiny photo mat and over here again I love this one with a little postage stamp with that cute little girl on it Again, another cute tag, and they're just plain on the back so you can write with a white gel pen. And again, a place for photo here and a photo here, and then a cute little tag. And again, pocket back here. Not a lot of embellishing on here because the paper was so cute and I wanted to keep it pretty simple. And you open it up, and a super cute little bottom out there it's more of the design paper here and the last little tag and again these tags were created from a die set from a bow bunny and then on the back 
last page. Again, some more of the cute little paper here and some of that cardstock from Stampin' Up. And then on the back here, I fuss, this is actually another one of the stickers, and I put it on some black cardstock, fussy cut around it, and then put it on some foam tape, but I did leave it open so you can use it as a text spot or text some photos or memorabilia or something else in there. So there you go, everybody. That's my super cute little tiny vertical paper bag mini album using the fabulous new Julie Netting Bell V 6x6 paper pad, and this product is from Photoplay, and they have some fabulous papers out. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.